And in Mid City, a short term rental owner says her home was ransacked after a group of teenagers booked a last minute reservation to throw a birthday party. The owner and other neighbors woke up in the middle of the night to the sound of rapid gunfire and screaming. And as Maddie Kurth reports, one person was taken to the hospital after being shot. And after a sleepless night, the cleanup continued today. It's the brand new mattress. <laughs> Sifting through the damage of her short-term rental off South Scott Street in Mid-City, Felicia Kresge is at a loss for words. I, I didn't expect this. It's really not worth it. The cleaning this and, and, and the repairs. Kresge says what started out as a last-minute booking for a teenager's birthday party turned violent when someone opened fire on her home. Can't even count how many bullet holes there are in it. I'm just glad that, you know, we're okay. Neighbors were outside Sunday morning cleaning up the damage. Everyone was frantic and concerned and, and freaking out. This doesn't happen in this neighborhood. Kresge says half of her duplex home is posted on rental sites like Airbnb, VRBO, and Booking.com. She says she was shocked to see a group trying to get into the home Saturday evening, but checked her records and confirmed they were legitimate. She remembers talking with someone claiming to be the teenager's mom, who said she would check on the girls throughout the night. I didn't know what was going on on the other side. They must have been drinking for hours. So when we opened our window, we certainly saw 10 to 15 kids. And of course, there was an ambulance and countless NOPD officers. There's a, a, a bottle of tequila downstairs. There's two other bottles of liquor. Neighbors tell us they heard about a dozen shots fired right after each other. They say police found multiple spent casings across the street. Bullet holes pepper the porch, multiple cars parked on the street, and other homes nearby. I mean, to go through steel, that had not, was no toy gun. <laughs> that was no 22. This comes days after City Council Vice President J.P. Morrell criticized the Cantrell administration for a lack of enforcement on short-term rentals. City data shared with the council Wednesday showed the Safety and Permit Office's 15-person team has brought down 4,200 illegal listings this year, levying more than $240,000 in fines. But this rental had a valid city permit on file since at least July of 2023 with no listed violations. Hotels take precautions for security. They manage their buildings effectively. They screen their guests coming in. And, and Airbnbs, you just need a credit card. And that's it. And for this neighbor, cleaning up shattered glass outside the home he bought just a few months ago. Is this the welcome to New Orleans? I hope not. I, the city's better than this. The city is absolutely better than this, and, and we got to find ways to show that. In Mid-City, Maddie Kurth, Fox 8, Local First.